Hello friends. In this video I'm going to tell you how to find the cube root of a 12 digit number in 25 seconds. In this video I'll give you two examples. So watch this end video till the end. Get each and every concept of a 12 digit number, cube root of a 12 digit number. So let's get started. Now suppose you have to find the cube root of 4254286817. Now first of all you, what you will do is you will divide this number into pairs of 3 each starting from the right hand side. So you will get 4 pairs and the number of pairs is equal to the number of digits that the final answer will have. So in this case you have 4 digit 4 pairs so your final answer will have 4 digit F, S, T and L where F is your first digit, S is your second digit, T is your third digit and L is your last digit. The only thing you need to remember are the cubes of first 9 numbers and their corresponding last digits. So 1 cube will give you 1, 2 cube will give you 8. Similarly 8 cube will give you 512 and 9 cube will give you 729. You have to remember the cubes and their corresponding last digits. Now let's start finding the cube root of this number. First of all we will find the last digit. Now since the last number is 1 and you need to check out which cube gives the last digit as 1. You will see that only one cube will give the last digit as 1. So as last digit is 1 and only one cube will give you the last digit 1. So your last digit will become 1. Now you will find the first digit first. So what you will do is you will take the first pair 425 you will see between which two pairs of cubes the number 425 lies. So 425 basically lies between 7 cube and 8 cube. 7 cube is 343, 8 cube is 512. So 425 lies between 7 cube and 8 cube. So your la first digit will become the smaller of the two cubes that is 7 and between 7 and 8. The smaller one is 7. So you will take the smaller cube and that will be your answer. So your first digit will become 7. Now. Now let's find out the third digit. For third digit what you have to do is you have to take the cube of the last digit that is 1. 1 cube will give you 1. You will subtract this 1 from the whole number. Actual number that whose cube, cube root you are finding. I am not writing the whole number. I am just, just written the last pair of number. 761 so that will actually become 761 minus 1 is equal to 760 now remember this thing after subtracting L cube from the original number the last digit should always be 0 if it is not 0 this means you have made some mistake at some point of time so in this case the your last digit is 0 you will ignore the last digit you will take the middle digit 6 and then you will compute it with the formula 3 L square T where L is your last digit and T is your third digit. So you will this will be 3 into 1 square into T. So this will become 3 T. You computed it with 6. So you need to check out with which number multiplied by 3 will give you the last digit as 6. So you can see that only 3 multiplied by 2 will give you the last digit 6. So your T will automatically become 2. So your third digit is 2. Now we will find the second digit. We have found three digits first, third and last. We will now find the second digit. Now for finding the uh, second digit, what you have to do is you have to use the formula earlier which we have used 3L square T and multiply the L and T with the 3. So you will get 6. Now what you will do is you will subtract the 6 from the whole number that is left out after subtracting L cube in the previous when we are finding the third digit. So the number is actually written in the bracket at the top 425-428-68176. So you will subtract it from 6 from this. I am not writing the whole number. Uh, I have just written the last two digits 76 minus 6 that will give you 70. So you will ignore again ignore the zero part it has to be zero as I have told to you earlier otherwise this means uh, if it is not zero that you have done some mistake. So you have got 70 you will ignore zero you will compute 7 with 
the formula 3L square S plus 3L T square. Now you know the L last digit, you know T the third digit, you have to find the S. Now when you will put the values, it will become 3 into 1 square into S into plus 3 into 1 into 2 square. So this is 3S plus 12. Now you, what you will do is you will take the 12 on the right hand side. So this will become 3s 7 minus 12. Now remember this thing that 7 we have written 7 here but this is actually the whole number uh, that we have to take that is it in the bracket. So we are uh, so that is actually a very big number. So when you will subtract the, that very big number 12 from that number that you will then you will get the last digit as 5. We are concerned only with the last digit that's why we have written 7 here only instead of the whole number. So now you have to see 3 multiplied with which digit will give you the last digit as 5. So you can check out that only 5, 3 multiplied by 5 will give you the last digit as 5. So your second digit will become 5. So you have found all the digits and your final answer is 7521. So this is uh, how you have to find the cube root of a 12 digit number. You need to know the last digits of each and every cube of first nine numbers and two formulas that you have to learn now let's find out how to let's see how to find out the cube root of an even number there's a trick involved in that so now let's find out the cube root of an even number that is one five three six three nine six seven two five six now remember that in case of even numbers you have to divide this number by eight till the time you get an odd number so you have to continuously divide this number by eight until or unless you get an odd number so, if you divide 1536396725 by 8, you will get 192049590 Now we will find the cube root of 192049507 first and at the end we will see how we can deduce the cube root of 1536396726 that is our original number. So, again we will divide the, this number into pairs of 3 start our final answer will have 4 digit. Again, we will find the last digit first. So, as the last digit is 7, and only 3 cube will give you the last digit 7. So, your last digit is L is 3. First digit is 1, and only 1 cube is equal to 1. So, your first digit is 1. So, we have found first and the last digit. Now, we will find the third digit. To find the third digit, again, we will cube the last digit 3 cube. That will give us 27. We will subtract this 27 from the original number or we will take only the last three digits for our convenience. So 907 minus 27 will give you 880. I will again ignore the last digit 0. I will take the middle digit 8 and compute it with the formula 3L square T where L is my last digit. So 3 into 3 square into T will give me 27 T. Again remember this thing in this 27 T I am not concerned with 2. I am only concerned with 7 T because this 7 we have to see which table in which table of 7 the last digit is 8 so as you can see only 4 as the last digit multiplied by 7 will give you the last digit as 8 so your third digit will become automatically become 4 now we'll find the second digit we have found first third and last digit again now what we'll do is we will find 3L square T so 3L square T is 3 into 3 is square into 4 that is 108 I will subtract this number from the number that is written in the bracket now you can see this number we have got in the last step so I will use this number this is a very important point that you have to remember now when I will subtract this uh, I will again take the last 3 digits for our convenience so I will get 480 I will ignore the last 8 0 and I will compute this 8 with the formula 3L square S plus 3LT square. Now putting the values, what you will get is 3 into 3 square S plus 3 into 3 into 4 square. That is 27S plus 144. I will take 27S here and then I uh, will take the right uh, 144 on the right hand side. Subtract it from 8. 8 is not actually only 8. It is the whole number that is written in the bracket. So as you are only concerned with the last 8, I will take 8 minus 4 that will give me 4. And again, I have to see which table of 7 gives the last 8 as 4. So that is your 2. So your second digit becomes 2. So your cube root of 192049 
is 1 2 4 3 but remember we were finding the cube root of an even number that was 1 5 3 6 3 9 6 7 2 5 6 now what we have to do is I'll multiply this 1 2 4 3 with 2 and I'll get the answer as 2 4 8 6 and that will be my final answer but let's see how we got this number 2 why we have to multiply this number 2 with 1 2 4 3 let's see now as you can see that the number whose cube root we have found 1920 1920495907 if we multiply this number by 8 we will get the actual number whose cube root we have to find now as you know that the cube root of 1920495907 is 1243 and cube root of 8 is 2 we will multiply these two and you will get the la uh, we will get the answer as 2486 which is actually the cube root of 15363967256 so your final answer will be 2486 remember this thing divide an even number by 8 till the time you get an odd number so if you like this video please hit the like button and don't fail to forget to share and subscribe this video thanks for watching thanks a ton